How to turn yourself into a loaf of bread. Step 1. Lay on the ground. Step 2. Imagine yourself as carbohydrates. Step 3. Become a loaf of bread. Gosh, you guys, look, Chip discovered how to get endless water and in, in the weirdest way. <laughs> so the faucet is dripping and he puts his paws up like this. And then once it drips down on his arm, he licks it off. <laughs> He's been doing this for like 10 straight minutes. Like, who thinks of this? What on earth? I'm a cat. I open drawers to see what you are hiding from me. I'm a cat. I sleep in sinks since you have no choice but to pet me. I'm a cat. I rub my face on everything that exists, even if that means destroying it. I'm a cat. I drink out of all faucets because my expensive automatic water fountain is not good enough for me. I'm a cat. I let my sister lick me for 20 to 30 minutes, but if you even dare to touch my belly, I'm a cat. I try to figure out how to play your video games, and I think I'm getting pretty good at it. I'm a cat. I will always want to be where you are at all times. I'm a cat. I expect to be held whenever I demand it, but only when I demand it. I'm a cat. I'll sleep on your bed because your bed is actually my bed, and your house is actually my house. Why does this cat have no tail? Like literally none at all? Well, let me tell you his story. So there's a rare breed of cat called a Manx breed, that's M-A-N-X, originating from the Isle of Man. Now due to a unique gene, Manx cats are born with a half tail or literally no tail at all, and it does not affect their bounce at all, which is pretty cool. So this cat, Chip, is a Minx cat, but there's more to this breed than just a weird genetic variation that causes no tail. Minx cats are literally known to be the cat equivalent to golden retrievers. They're super friendly, they know tricks, they're smart, and they are very loving. In fact, it's almost impossible to find a Minx cat owner who doesn't say that their kitty is the best cat they've ever owned. So next time you see a kitty with no tail, you'll know it's probably a Minx. Dad, I don't understand that Christmas song that's like, you better watch out, you better not cry, you better, you better not, not pout, pout. Um, Yeah, I don't get this. Well, they're saying like- So if I cry, I don't get a gift. I mean, it's like you gotta- What if I'm at a funeral? Well, if you're at a funeral- See, they're just gonna walk in, see me hovered over the casket crying and be like, well, he ain't getting a fucking Xbox. Does anyone else's cat request booty pets like this? Because my cat literally assumes this position and wants me to spank his butt. Like, <laughs> is this normal? All right, so my cat decided to make some purchases without me knowing. He said that there aren't enough photos of him in our house, so he took matters into his own hands and ordered some items with his face on it, like this pancake painting. So we can't live life without seeing his face at all times. These are from pugmug.ai, and all Chip did was upload his photo, and he created dozens of adorable prints to use on framed photos, t-shirts, coasters, puzzles, you name it. Chip is really proud of his work, and I gotta admit, I do love my new accessories too.